very rarely we will do not, a non compressed image and we'll get full 14 bit data, but otherwise, uh, it's, uh, the, data, the, uh, the 14 bit data is led to uh, 8 bits. And uh, once, the, uh, once the data goes through our processing pipelines, out comes our RDRs. Uh, the, the RDRs are calibrated and projected. Uh, depending on uh, the binning modes and various uh, commanding settings on the uh, space uh, made during the observation, uh, the uh, resolution of the RDRs may be set to uh, 0.25 meters per pixel, or maybe half a meter per pixel, or as much as one meter per pixel in some cases. But usually it's, it's 0.25 or, or half a meter per pixel. Uh, we produce a panchromatic red RER. That's just all of the uh, red CCDs uh, merged together in a single path projected product. And, uh, and also we produce this three color product, just the, the color strip down the center. And uh, if you'll notice in this particular example, uh, there's this green stripe on the end. And uh, that's uh, a gap. That's it. So we get questions about this frequently about what's why why is the RDR why is there one inch of the RDR of a different color that that's resulted in a lost channel from uh, either the lost in, in the RSDS or from the DSpace network or data data that we didn't receive uh, the RDRs are in JPEG 2000 format and we have uh, a JPEG 2000 uh, JPEG protocol server on our site with, with as well as a uh, viewer's viewing tool that will allow you to uh, download the or download portions of the RDR without having to download the full size RDRs. These, these RDRs can get quite big. Uh, in addition, we also embed a GeoTIFF box in the JPEG 2000 file. This contains uh, map, mapping information so that you can import it. If uh, everything works right, you can import it with things like NV or ARC and, and, uh, and, and read off coordinates, take measurements, all that kind of work. And uh, this is an example of a pan chromatic red RDR. And then this is actually, well, they're actually, these are, I actually use it from different observations, but the same area, different observations, but, but it's focusing in on Victoria Crater. Uh, in addition to our standard RDR products, we have a plethora of extras that I mentioned. Uh, start out with on the, the left here is a, what we call these are our Nomad products, and on the left is uh, Pan Chromatic Red. And uh, there's no map projection applied. Uh, there's there's no resampling of the data. So in, in principle, this is the higher resolution. Uh, straight off the instrument image. Uh, and then, uh, in addition to the, the red, we also uh, create a uh, RGB nomad, which is a, uh, a, a, it's an RGB image where we take the red filter, the uh, blue-green filter as the uh, green channel, and then create a synthetic blue to kind of try to make a Mars-like looking uh, no map image here. And then uh, the final product on the, on the right is also a no map product. Uh, and uh, that's our IRB where we, we uh, merge all three uh, uh, channels into a single product, similar to the RDR. Uh, sometimes from a different stretch. And uh, so you have a full set of. Uh, uh, non-resampled uh, extras products. And finally, our, our last set of uh, map projected products, uh, or standard, standard extras, I should say. Uh, this is a case where, it should be somewhat obvious, where we pulled a, we merged in all the, the red, all the pen chromatic red CCDs, and we merged in the color strip down the center, and map projected it. And uh, we generate two different 
of uh, products. The uh, RGB, or we can produce an RGB merged product that's similar to the Nomad with the, the red channel, uh, blue green, and synthetic blue product. And then on the, the right is the, the IRB, which is similar to the Nomad, but slightly different stretch, but it's uh, pan chromatic red with the IRB filters red and the blue green filters all in place. Uh, so also, uh, in addition to our, D our RDRs, uh, we are producing DTNs uh, from stereo pairs. And uh, similar to uh, the way LROC does their, their stereo pairs, uh, we take two different images of the same uh, uh, place on two different orbits and then merge them together to form a DTN. Uh, the products are released as uh, sets of pro projects as we release. There's a DTM, and then we will release, uh, up to now, it's been four different uh, ortho-rectified images that are, uh, and the source of those, those ortho-rectified images are the input images into the stereo pair that was used to create the DTM. And uh, we create two different resolutions of the ortho image. Uh, one ortho image is resampled to the same resolution uh, as uh, the DTM, and uh, the other ortho image is uh, uh, set to be the same at, at the same resolution as the original RDR. And the, uh, just the, the DTMs are also usually uh, the, uh, about, uh, about one, uh, set down about one meter per pixel per, per post. Uh, so, uh, also to go with the DTNs, we have the various sections. On, on the left is just a, a sample of what the, 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 the DTN looks like. On the right is a shaded relief of the DTN. We also do uh, color altimetry products and uh, it's just a, a grayscale of the image. And uh, on our and it, since we, we also have, as part of our DTM production, we're taking lots of stereo pairs. And uh, we have somewhere on the order of 3,000, I think it's over 3,000 stereo pairs total. And for each of those stereo pairs, we are generating animals. So play with your red blue glasses. And these are actually, in, in a sense, these, because of DTM production is uh, so time consuming, these actually give you a good idea of what's going on without having a DTM. So uh, moving on to how to find the data, uh, there are lots of different search interfaces. Uh, we have our one on our own on the HiRox website at uahiRox.org. Uh, you can also uh, search for uh, various products within our, our Mac interface and our HiRox product. There's a poster about that uh, later today. And, uh, you can also search the Planetary Image Atlas. is a, a much more well-developed search interface. You can search on just about every keyword in the product label. There's the Mars Orbital Data Explorer, which uh, basically has a lot of the same functionality as the Planetary Image Atlas, but I believe the ODE also uh, allows its searches on uh, for coordinated observations. So you can search for observations that were coordinated between high-rise and PRISM or, or CTX. Uh, usually it's high-rise and PRISM most of the time. Uh, you can also play around with Google Mars. There's a Mars mode in there. Really, I'm not quite sure how frequently Google Mars is updated. It long have a set of KML files that uh, somewhere those uh, are that have all the uh, products put together. And of course, there's the high rise PDS volume. And uh, finally, uh, just a little slide up PDS and how our, our volume is organized. Uh, for software, Brad Scali is going to talk a little bit about high view in a few minutes. And it's our, our JK2000 viewer. Uh, it's really the best way to view our imagery without having to download a, up to a two gigabyte size file. Unless you can, uh, it gives you a really nice uh, view of what the imagery looks like before having to download it into some more uh, analysis software. And uh, finally, 
Um, we have a few upcoming products that we're working on. Um, uh, we will soon be releasing, possibly as soon as next month, ortho-rectified color products to go into our DTM sets. We'll also be adding uh, ortho images of repeat images over our DTMs. Uh, and uh, products in development are high-precision high geometry products that will be de-jittered products. Uh, we're still working on the details of how those are actually going to work out. And uh, we are experimenting with color ratio products. Those will probably be a very uh, the best effort. And uh, finally, this is a summary of our, our data products. Uh, we have 40, over 47,000 RDRs, nearly half a million extras products, and 92 DTM so far. And uh, finally, just plug our high program. We're always looking for people to submit more target suggestions. So uh, please uh, stop by our post earlier today and talk, talk about how you can log in and submit targets. That's it. Thank you. Hey, so are you planning on making DTMs for every single stereo pair, or is it by request? And how is it different than the Ames stereo pipeline, the products that you produce? Uh, so, well, we have been experimenting with trying to get Ames working with our, our data products, and uh, it's basically the high-rise imagery is too large, and the Ames, just, the Ames pipeline chokes on it. We, we put plans of games with trying to Reduce the resolution and Ross is as uh, that's the work on that. Um, but most of our DTM production is done through Socket Set, and uh, we had a plethora of uh, students that are working on building those. So, so you're going to be doing all of the stereo so, uh, We will be doing those at best as, as best as we can. It's unlikely that we'll be able. All 3,000 stereo pairs. It's just it'd be great, but it's too much. Right, Un unless we can get the, the processing worked out where we can get the AIM stereo pipeline installed at High Rock and then we can just kind of run them as we have resources. So we, we can get the AIM stereo pipeline to build train models from high rise data. Um, I think that we just, you guys haven't had enough time at High Rock to actually spend the time to, to really make it, make it yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. We've had some experiments and they. Because we've we we built high rise strain models, yeah, so we've had mixed results with it. Yeah. Uh, Frank Hale, JPL. Do you have any uh, preference in terms of when you're going to send out the color um, orthorectified images? Uh, they will go in the same place as the okay. uh, DTM, so we're going to keep all those products together as a set, okay. so that. Uh, so if anyone is doing, want to do change detection or something like that, where we start adding in the, the repeat ortho images, they'll all be in one place and you can get okay. them all together. What about for Gale Crater? Uh, Obviously for MSO. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll all be in the same, okay. all, all, those ortho, all the ortho images will all be in those state, the same places. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you very much.